All right. So I live alone. Um, sometimes it does get boring. I do wish I had a roommate at some times, but then I think about the times of where I did have a roommate. I'm like, you know, this ain't so bad. Uh, for example, I used to have a roommate in uh, college. His name was Boston. That was his nickname. Uh, we called him Boston because he had one of the thickest Boston accents you've ever heard in your life. Uh, <laughs> and Boston was a character. He used to say some of the most outrageous things. Like, this dude, like, if he wasn't the main center of attention at all times, he would make it so. So, for example, this one time we were uh, headed out to the bars. We're all cramming in my buddy's Honda Civic. Uh, Boston's on the right side of the back seat. My girlfriend at the time was in the middle, and I'm in the left-hand side. As soon as we start going, Boston just uh, looks over at my girlfriend and was just like, hey, baby girl, you, uh, you up for a little downhill ski in there? <laughs> Get it? Like dicks? <laughs> and so, like, I look over at him and I'm like, dude, don't be saying that kind of shit to my girlfriend. Not because I thought it was disrespectful. I was more so worried about her answer. Because <laughs> uh, she was a whore. <laughs> Not her first time on the slopes. <laughs> if you catch my drift. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so the dude says, like, the most outrageous things in the world. And you got to wonder, who raised you? Well, I found out. He, uh, his uncle Bob came to visit us one time. Uh, Uncle Bob stayed for about two weeks. And um, about the, the whole week leading up to it, Boston was hyping up Uncle Bob. He's just like, Uncle Bob's the shit. You're going to love him. He's wicked awesome. Dude is hardcore. He's going to potty with us. You're going to fucking love him. And so I'm expecting literally like the coolest Bostonian to walk through my door. Like I'm expecting Mark fucking Wahlberg to show up. Like how much he's hyping him up. My expectations came crashing down so hard the day that Uncle Bob showed up. Uncle Bob <laughs> walks in. He's a 75-year-old man. He's bald, got these big glasses, missing teeth, wearing a wife beater, big old beer belly, sweatpants with cigarettes, like holes burned into it. And I'm like, oh, great. This dude's staying over with us for two weeks. Awesome. <laughs> So uh, we're all just hanging out for the first time. We're sitting in my living room and um, I'm flipping through the channels, just like trying to like figure out like, what does everybody want to watch? And as soon as I start flipping through the channels, of course, Uncle Bob stands up. He goes, yo, was that the Undertaker? <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 sure. I'll, I'll change it back. And uh, so it turns out we're all watching wrestling. Three grown men sitting in our living room <laughs> watching wrestling. Cool. That's what we're doing, I guess. And so um, <laughs> we're going through the like we're, we're sitting there watching Uncle Bob is so into wrestling like he's standing up yelling screaming yeah yeah the Undertaker he's gonna pin him fuck you John Cena <laughs> and um, we get to the part to where the divas start coming out and if you don't watch wrestling the divas they're the female wrestlers and they wear very skimpy outfits. So uh, my roommate used to do this thing to where uh, anytime we saw a marginally attractive girl, my roommate would come up to me and he would nudge me on the shoulder and be like, hey, bro, you? Meaning, would you pursue this female in a, you know, sexual manner? <laughs> or as he would say, yo, would you fuck her? <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying to fit in with the family, you know, just, just get along, make a good first impression. Uh, so I reach over and I nudge over to Uncle Bob. I'm like, uh, when the divas are on, I'm like, yo, Uncle Bob, you? Uncle Bob turns to me, takes his glasses off, stares directly into my soul. And he says, you think I'm some sort of fucking queer? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what, what? No, 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 no. I was, I, I was just doing the thing. I was just, 
I was just like, yeah, you, you know, like, uh, come on. And Uncle Bob was just like, don't interrupt me when I'm fucking talking to you. I am shitting my pants at this moment. Uncle Bob looks at me and goes, you listen here and you listen good, you little shit. I would lick that bitch from her asshole to her appetite. And I would pay for the fucking pleasure. So don't you ever in your fucking life call me no fucking queer again or I will knock all your fucking teeth out. You understand me? So I'm like, all right, cool. This is going to be a fun two weeks. And that's it. Thanks, Jeans. Woo!